not so much um, not so much for me I think that um, uh, it was a moment that we control the game of course that with uh, some energy we try to come back we we scored the two one just before um, halftime which was it was good for us to build a little bit our conf uh, confidence back um, then the goal that uh, that we conceded today, so it was like a, uh, for me like a soft uh, goal. Um, good thing, of course, we have like uh, Alan Velasco after nine months, even more scoring a scoring a goal. Um, I think that even in the first half we have so many chances to score and to uh, to tie before, um, and we we didn't score those uh, those chances. But uh, positive thing, not so much. Well, one, I mean, I think uh, you know some fans saw a lot of positive in, in Alan Velasco's energy and Jesus Ferreira getting that uh, pretty, um, uh, you know, exciting goal, uh, kind of a sneaky goal there to earn uh, that that helped you all immensely going into halftime. Uh, where do you feel those two players are as you prepare home to face LAFC? Are they are they close to being able to go a full ninety? Is that something you'd like to see out of them before the end of the season? So to be honest, to have them like um, going ninety again is let's see. We're gonna see those two days. Uh, even tomorrow is gonna be a very important day to uh, decide and to just judge if um, they can go again. But right now, it's just for us like uh, to rest after that um, disappointing uh, day, after this game. Uh, positive, yeah, yes, they have been playing, but we need more. Everybody needs uh, to do more. Everybody needs to do much more. If you want to uh, even to win that game against uh, LAFC and trying to uh, to just like being closer to that playoff zone, we need uh, everybody. Uh, I'm talking about me, myself. The uh, players, uh, staff, we need to do uh, much more. My last question then is just about the defensive performance tonight. I know you said those were soft goals given up. How do you diagnose those defensive kind of miscues this late in the season? You know, how do you try to get the team to sort of be focused and maybe make those corrections with, with just a few games left to make this push? Well, we saw that, for example, against Vancouver, um, so we have a much better behavior defensively. Um, I think that uh, we were a little bit more solid. Of course, that we concede some chances, but in the end, uh, we we're more solid, more compact, uh, more help uh, from 10, 10 players, 11 players. And today we see um, and we saw that it was a little bit different. Um, too, many, too much space between lines, too much space between players. So that means that. Um, when one player is getting beat, so the next one is not uh, is not so close. So, so when you are carrying so much space, it's, uh, it's hard to defend, and this is what we saw uh, we saw today. And um, and I hope that uh, we have like a better day defensively against uh, LA, a little bit more a type of day that we had um, uh, against Vancouver. Thank you, Nathan. And we'll go over to Garrett, please. Hey, Peter, you, Nathan. just for me. Um, yes. Two home games coming up that could decide the season in terms of the playoff race. What's your message to the team ahead of those two games? Well, no, but uh, we need to be clear now. <laughs> you know, we, we cannot lie. We have uh, a game on Saturday. It, it can be like uh, on the last chance. I will say that uh, even if we have two games home, and uh, and that Saturday is going to be like a, a really, really even this this one was really important, but this one wants to be uh, crucial for us. If we really want to uh, to try to make the playoff, the game on Saturday is going to be crucial crucial for us. So um, if you're just making sure that everybody um, is going to be in a good uh, and good good shape, they need to rest. Um, and we're going to play against a big team on on Saturday, and uh, and that's it. So we need to be just prepared for that game. Thanks, Peter. Safe travels back. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you, Garrett. And let's go to Edwin, please. Buenas noches, profe. Eh, dos preguntas. Eh, la vivez de Jesús Ferreira para encontrar el primer gol a casi a finalizar el primer tiempo. ¿Cuál es su opinión de, de, ese, de ese gol? Y Alan Velasco se reencuentra con el gol después de 340 días, eh, después de su larga lección, le, lesión. ¿Qué 
qué significa el marcar el gol a Alan y si él era el primer cobrador designado después de que Jesús saliera de, de cambio. Um, bueno, voy a empezar por la última pregunta que me hiciste. Um, no, creo que Alan, bueno, tuvo la garantía de ir y de agarrar el balón. Creo que lo vieron tan decidido que, que no dijeron nada, así que yo en estas cosas tampoco me gusta tomar decisiones. Uh, la sintió, la agarró y, um, y la metió, así que muy bien para él, estoy feliz para él también porque um, ha sido una... <risa> un largo camino para él después de, como tú dices, casi nueve, diez meses. Y uh, muy bien. Y por Jesús, bueno, pues que el primer gol que mete, uh, sí, muy listo. Um, otro, otra vez, ¿eh? sin, sin apuntar uh, dedo a, a, a... Porque necesitamos más. Necesitamos más. Todo esto no es suficiente. Tenemos que, que ser más responsable. Y yo primero. En, um, sobre todo en los goles que hemos uh, encajado, que son goles muy, uh, muy blandos y goles que en el, los últimos cuatro o cinco partidos pues son goles que eh, seguimos encajando, menos el partido de Vancouver, que para mí ha sido un partido un poquito más sólido al nivel defensivo y no tan bueno al nivel ofensivo. So, a ver si un día tenemos un, un partido un poquito más completo como lo, lo hemos tenido en el pasado. Eh, última pregunta, eh, ¿cuál es el mensaje a los jugadores y um, a los jugadores para este partido de vida o muerte contra Los Ángeles eh, este sábado anterior al Stadium? Bueno, pues uh, al final creo que, que todo el mundo lo está viendo, ¿no? Que, que no somos ciegos, al final va a ser uh, de las últimas oportunidades que tenemos para entrar en uh, empleo, va a ser ganar contra el ley y, um, y ya está. Entonces, eh, nuestra mentalidad ahora mismo es eh, sufrir un poquito hoy y que al final nos vayamos todos durmiendo y eh, sufriendo, porque eso nos tiene que doler, porque había sitio para ganar este partido. No estoy hablando ni de empatar, que al final se pudo empatar, pero vinimos aquí con la idea de, de ganar ese partido y, eh, y al final no se pudo por, eh, por eh, bueno, por, por errores, ¿no? Así que ahora es solamente pensar en el partido de LA eh, contra un, uh, un gran equipo y, uh, y ahora ya te, vamos a tener que enseñar si realmente queremos pelear para los playoffs. Así que no hay otra. Gracias, profe. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Edwin, and thank you, Peter. That concludes tonight's media availability. Safe travels back, coach. Thank you, Michael. Ciao, Edwin. Ciao, Garrett. See you when you get back.